So how do you actually teach your Labrador puppy its name? Now, when you get a new dog, you obviously think that we need to teach a dog its name. But when you actually stop to think about how do you actually do that, the process might seem a little bit more complicated than most people originally thought. However, do not worry, because that is exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome back to the Femrear Labrador Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Labrador puppies, just like my best mate Sully over there, as well as learning everything you could ever dream of knowing about the incredible breed that is the Labrador Retriever. So if you love labs just as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification button bell and that way you'll never miss a future Labrador video but in this video we want to talk about teaching your Labrador puppy teaching your Labrador of any age its name now before we actually go about helping you understand how you teach your Labrador their name it's really important that we understand the theory and the principle behind it it is critical that you understand that your Labrador any dog for that matter can never understand the concept that it has a name it is a completely foreign concept to a dog and there is no amount of training we can do to help them truly on a deep level understand that this word this noise that is coming out of our mouth is their name that is a very human concept we're the only animal on the planet that actually does that and when we're communicating with other humans about our dog it's completely fine to refer to them as their name but to be a high level canine leader we must understand these things from the the dog's point of view and get it from a canine psychology and behavior point of view what we need to understand that when we're communicating with our dog their name means nothing more than stop what you're doing and look up to me because I'm about to ask you to do something else Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction when we achieve that we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of so if you want more information about our boot camp program the link will be down in the description box below but until then let's get back to the video you were just watching now put it into uh, let's not use Donna wake my mate up there so we won't use his name let's use um, Bob the Labrador if we're ever actually communicating with our Labrador, think about it. How is it that we actually use their name? Nine times out of 10, it's probably to get them to stop doing something you don't want them to do along the lines of, Bob, stop it, Bob, no, Bob, stop, Bob, no. Now that's not necessarily high level canine leadership and in our perfect puppy program, we talk about all of those things in length, but when we actually want to be using their name, it is simply to get their attention because we're about to ask them to do something else or to ask them to stop doing what they're doing. Bob, no, Bob, stop it. Or Bob, come, Bob, sit, Bob, stay, Bob, heal. You get the idea. We're trying to get their attention and then redirect them or ask them to do something else or ask them to stop doing what it is that they're doing. But always what we want from them is look up at me because I'm about to ask you to do something else. That is of critical importance that you understand that. It is no different than teaching our dog to sit, that this noise that comes out of our mouth, we understand it as word, we understand it as vocabulary and language. To a dog, it's just nothing but a weird noise that comes out of that weird two-legged animal that they live with. It's just a noise that comes out of their mouth. Our job as a leader is to help them associate that with a desired behavior and then positively reinforce that desired behavior so that they repeat that desired behavior every time that noise comes out of our mouth. That is the essence of dog training. It really isn't rocket science, but when we look at it like that from a dog's perspective, we will see things a little bit differently. And if you can grasp that before we move forward, I promise you, you are going to be so much further down the line of being a high level canine leader than 99 people out of 100. So now we've got that. How do you, okay, all very good, Will. That sounds great. But how do I actually teach a dog to look up to me for guidance and direction by using its name as a command? 
no problem whatsoever. Exactly the same way that in our Perfect Puppy program, we help you teach a dog to sit. We use a lure, mark, and reinforce based procedure. Very standard in the dog training world. It's a positive based approach, a food based approach brilliant we do it as part in our perfect puppy program we teach it you as part of our femre basic obedience drill that we start from day one and teaching a dog its name is one of the very very first things that we do it's excellent for relationship it's excellent for communication and a lot of things are built up on top of it and form that basic obedience drill so oftentimes as we move forward we use it as a little bit of a tune-up and a warm-up and it informs a lot of the other things how we actually do that i'm going to give you a quick overview of now but we use a bit of food reward uh, a lure sorry we can get the dog's attention we put it in front of their nose so they're following the lure what we do is we bring that lure up to our face we don't want to cover our eyes because we always want to have that eye contact with our dog we bring it up when we get that eye contact from the dog looking up now they might be looking at the lure to start with that's fine but once they're looking right up at us we mark that behavior with the word which we have assigned as their name so with this example we bring it up we get the eye contact bob yes good bob good bob then they get the food reward we reinforce it so we've lured them we mark it with their name and then we reinforce it with the positive praise and the food reward and all the good, lovely stuff that we like to do with our dogs. We drill it, we practice it, we put the reps in. Nothing comes easy in life, and in particular with dog training, you have to put the work in. There's no tricks, there's no shortcuts. It's about putting the work in, putting the reps in. With a breed as smart as a Labrador, you're gonna be doing a lot less reps than a breed like a Bull Mastiff, for example. Doesn't mean you still don't have to put the reps in, you absolutely have to. You put those reps in and you'll very quickly get the dog to associate following that lure with this word means that they get access to the food. Brilliant. But what we don't want to do, just like how when we're teaching a dog to sit, we don't want them to have to sit a four-year-old Labrador. We have to use a lure to get them to sit every time. No, we get use the word and then we remove the reinforcement and then we just rely on our relationship and communication to be able to get them to do what we want them to do when we want them to do it. Same goes for the name, which is nothing more than a command, remember, to look up to me for guidance and direction. So what we need to do is we get that lure, but rather than bringing it right up to our face, we might bring it up to chest level. You will find that the Labrador will naturally be interested in the food and they'll be looking at it. And this is where we need to use a bit of timing, a bit of finesse and a little bit of patience. When they follow it up, excellent. We wait for that moment. They're looking at the food. They're looking at the food. And then when we wait for that moment where they're a bit confused, and they look up to us. When we get that moment, that from the food up to us, instantly we mark it with their name, lots of praise, lots of reinforcement. And again, we drill that. And you'll find that a Labrador in particular will pick that up very quickly. Ah, it's not just following this, it's that looking up. Once I look up, that's what gets me. And if they say that noise that comes out of their mouth that we have decided is their name, if I just look up at them, fantastic, I get something good. That's how we train it. And we eventually remove the lure altogether. And then further down the line, and again, it's in our Perfect Puppy program, we help you remove the reinforcement aspect and we utilize our relationship that we've built with our dog to be able to utilize that obedience no matter where we are, what situation's happening, whether we've got food or treats on us or not, we can utilize our obedience and our communication simply with nothing more than relationship, which is the essence of a high level canine leader. So I hope you found that information helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button it helps the channel when you do and remember if you are new hit that subscribe button and the notification bell i know every youtuber in the world tells you to do that but the reason we do is because if you you are new here and you do that that way you'll never miss one of our future videos if you go away before that you might never stumble across this channel again and if you love labradors and you want help to raise a perfect labrador and learn everything you could ever want to know about labradors hitting that subscribe button means that you'll never miss a future video so i really hope to see you on on the next episode of the Femre Labrador Show.